Hey everyone, I'm gonna do a quick review. I got a lot of work to do, but uh, wanted to do a quick review on uh, what I've got set up here for my tractor. I've got a uh, John Deere 5075E. So it's got the larger uh, H240 loader on it here. And I wanted to talk about why I decided to go with this particular saw uh, holder setup. I've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of these uh, small farm uh, YouTube channels, which are great, um, uh, talk a lot about the saw haul. And uh, I, went, I went a different route after doing a little bit of research. I'm not sponsored by any of these uh, guys at all, no affiliation with them. Uh, but uh, I you know, made a determination about which product I thought was going to be uh, the better product for, for me and uh, ultimately settled on the ITC Saw Boss rather than the Saw Hall. And I'll show you guys here a little bit more about it. So this is my setup here. Uh, as you can see, it's mounted on the side here. Now, typically, uh, most people who are going to have these and what it's kind of set up for right out of the box is uh, your smaller compact and subcompact tractors. It actually comes with a, a large U-bolt that goes around uh, this bracket here that it mounts to, to then just bolt to the side of your uh, kind of your vertic vertical support here on the loader. Uh, in my case, my loader is way too big, so um, I ended up having to make this uh, custom bracket here. And customer service, I can't say enough about it. I think his name is Gary. I think he's out of North Carolina. I, uh, when I purchased it, I'd made a note in the, in my comment before checking out, letting him know specifically what tractor I had and whether or not, you know, he knew of any options or had any options. Um, and he was awesome. He ended up calling me on my cell and, uh, he ended up, we talked through it for a minute and then he ended up sending me pictures from another customer who had, um, who had this same tractor and kind of showed me and gave me some ideas of how they had set it up. So I ended up mounting it right here off of the uh, toolbox mount on the tractor here. I also went ahead and bought the uh, this chain box here. So I find this to be really handy. I'm able to keep some trucker chain in here, which is great. Um, you know, the, the saw boss here, unlike the saw haul. So the saw haul, from what I was able to glean from it and watching a lot of videos on YouTube, it's made of some sort of thinner... Uh, like PVC type plastic. This here is a very thick, I don't know if you guys can see this heavy duty nylon, then with this this uh, sheet metal, powder coated sheet metal bracket here, it's, I don't know, eighth inch thick. Um, this is really, really robust. So see if you guys can see here, you know, it's pretty thick stuff. And I've seen some horror stories of that saw haul after running your saw for a long time uh, and putting that, that hot bar and chain uh, directly into the saw hall, it melting away the plastic. Uh, in this case, you know, I try not to put in the, the hot saw right after I've been using it. However, I've been able to field test this long enough now that, um, you know, it, it's it's a lot heavier duty uh, polymer. It's, um, I believe it's a nylon, uh, but as you can see, I've got a 32 inch bar on my Husky 372 here and so it's able to just stick out the bottom but I don't run into any clearance issues or anything like that. It's got big felling dogs on the saw that fit right nicely right around the saw boss and and you know based on your your tractor setup um, you know you see that since I'm running a, a green machine here I was able to go with the embossed uh, green background here on the saw boss which is cool but they've got them in they've got them in red for your for your uh coyotes and tims and and uh they've got kubota orange um i think they even do like a breast cancer awareness pink one which is cool um but anyways that's it i didn't want to make this a, a long deal but i really really enjoy this setup it's nice to be able to just you know throw your throw your saw in um have your chain and uh, be able to just get out into the woods i've got i've got a lot of a lot of woods here um i'm on 30 acres out in the woods in uh, Washington State. And uh, so I've got a lot of work to do with, with a saw and being able to put this in here and not have my, my chain getting um, doled up from banging around in the bucket on the front of the tractor. Um, it, it's fantastic because, you know, you spend a lot of time sharpening your chain and, uh, you know, it sucks to get up to the wood pile and, and uh, have a dull chain and have to, have to file again. 
So anyways, I hope this is helpful to you guys. Again, it's ITC Sawboss. I'll try and put a link in the description here. I'm not huge on YouTube, so it might give me a, uh, a chance to kind of play with it and figure out how to do that. But oh, hopefully this is helpful to you guys and helps you guys make a decision on, on how you guys want to, you know, run your, your saw haul slash saw boss setup. So anyways, cheers.